you've been active on this idea of um, making sure that skilled, especially computer engineers, um, can come over to the U.S. and work, get their uh, visas. What's standing in the way of getting highly skilled workers? Every Democrat on the committee. Not Why? One, not one Democrat would vote for anything unless it was, quote, comprehensive. Uh, the high tech, it, you might have noticed that there aren't a lot of PhDs in, in science and engineering um, that are here illegally. Um, and yet we're being asked that if we're going to deal with uh, people graduating from our, our universities with masters and PhDs in engineering and other hard sciences, um, if we want them to stay here, we're being asked that any reform be linked to 11 million undocumented workers and all kinds of other programs. Uh, that's a bit of a problem, uh, not because we shouldn't try to solve all the problems, but because they're really not connected. Uh, when we offered our Skills Visa Act last Congress, not one Democrat would vote for it on the committee, uh, in spite of the fact that several represented Silicon Valley and claimed to be champions. When asked about it, so Lofgren and others simply said, well, we're for comprehensive. But what, what are the Silicon Valley representatives, the ones that you speak to yourself, on a fairly regular basis. What are they saying? Are they, they angry with the Democrats? Are the tech companies, you know, Facebook and Google and all those guys, I mean, are they attacking the Democrats? Because no. it seems like you're saying that Well, the first of all, they are, are Democrats. So let's understand that, uh, that Silicon Valley elects Democrats because those, that's their politics. One of the challenges we face is behind the scenes they'll say, yeah, of course we'd, we'd love to have a Skills Visa Act as a standalone if we can get it, but we don't think we can get it, therefore we're not going to complain about it. And my answer is fine. There's $109 billion worth of revenue that comes from supporting my legislation from last Congress, and not a single Democrat could come up with a way to spend that $109 billion. They simply wanted uh, to deal with 11 million undocumented workers or there was no deal. That's fine, but, what but that's not compromise. But what are the tech companies saying behind closed doors? Because this is Behind closed doors, they're furious. <laughs> behind closed doors, they know they're being held hostage uh, for farm workers, people uh, doing dishes at restaurants, uh, and the Democratic agenda to try to convert those people into future Democratic voters. But don't they have any influence on the Democratic Party? They are not nearly as powerful as Speaker Pelosi can, can drive fear into people. The fact is, Democrats are not willing yet to do what's right for America on high skilled.